Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are coming to you live from the shop because Grant has some really exciting news to share with you all. You ready? I'm done. Done planting. <laughs> all done. The planter that we worked for four and a half months on survived, made it through planting season. Grant is officially done. done. Unfortunately, I cannot share the same announcement, but... Fingers crossed, knock on woods. I hardly even want to say it. I don't want to jinx myself. Today is my last day of planting. Should. should be. Today should be my last day of planting. So the planter did awesome after many, many, many bearings going out in these clothes wheels. After changing all of those and having some loose gauge wheels in the beginning, it did fine. Didn't uh, didn't have any problems. The fertilizer system did amazing from SurePoint. Those guys hooked us up and set us up to that. The bulk tanks. I didn't have to shuffle seed once. Never had to. Do you know how Laura always has to go scoop seed from bin to bin? I only had to handle, I think, thirty six bags of seed. It was all seed tender from Patriot Equipment in Minden. They sent that out, and so I was able to, planting was super smooth and efficient around here. But this thing did awesome, so I gotta go clean it up. It got a little muddy, because it rained the other day, and I had to drive it home in the rain, but it is all, it is job for the year. So it's gonna go back in the shed until next year, and we get to work on it again. <laughs> we can do this whole thing over again. Um, but yeah, I think overall, Grant was pretty satisfied with the job it did. I was just impressed that we got everything put together right i mean you know i you saw us work on it for like off and on for months yeah so not to doubt our abilities or anything but it's just really cool to see something that you put so many hours in and what you saw was just a fraction grant spent a lot of hours thinking and planning and prepping and working on this um even while the cameras were off so i do have a small list of things i want to change for next year oh I please do not share like those seed farmer things that you're supposed to push the seed down and put fertilizer in. But um, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll show you what he's talking about. He's talking about these things right here. So Not a fan. when the seed falls or like comes down the tube right here, then this is sitting in the ground and like pushing the seed See, in. See, what happened is, is the trench would begin to close up when it was so dry. So this thing was out of the ground and it was spraying fertilizer all over these things. And you know, fertilizer is very corrosive. And that's why all the bearings were going out. Gotcha. Another thing I want to change is these openers. These are like the basic of basic openers that you can have on your planter. And so to adjust them, you gotta get out and screw. Anyway, like this one, we had to weld the bolts on because it broke off and it's really hard. See this one, yeah, this, I think this one broke. Anyway, they just, as they bounce through the field, they kind of adjust themselves, whoever. So maybe looking for some new, um, row cleaners, but look at this fertilizer system held up excellently. Oh, you don't see one spot. I don't know if it's made a video. Well, it will have made a video, but I, I hit a pivot stop with that. Oh so, my goodness. Are you serious? Yeah. So it just, it broke this off right here, but it's okay. I'm but it's fine. Well, I'm just, what I'm noticing is that I don't see any leaks anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Everything looks, I don't know. It all looks great. So thank you so much to everyone who helped us make it through Grant's planting season, the Sherpoint Ag people, the Patriot Ag Seed Tender. Um, all those people were really great and helped us out a lot. So we really appreciate them. Thanks, guys. Grant, congratulations. I am so proud of you. Done, done. So speaking of sponsors, uh, UMC Universal Motion Components, that's that cute little video you see run. Um, at the beginning of all my videos, they're another one of our channel sponsors. And so while I am out planting today, Grant is going to be servicing some pivots. So UMC uh, is a powertrain part supplier for pivots. And we are entering the season. Oh man, I really thought I could carry both of them. We are entering the season. I think it's very heavy if you didn't know. <laughs> of irrigation. Since all of Grant's crops are planted, it's time to start putting some water on them because frankly, don't know the next time it's going to be raining. So he's just going to be bringing these with him just in case so he doesn't have to come back to the shop. But 
Check out UMC for any of your powertrain pivot needs. So I will also be, while I'm out there, I will also be filling, so this is full of oil right here. This is an electric motor, this is full of oil, gearbox, with this nice jug of oil. I'll be topping all the old ones off because they get water in them, they leak a little bit. It's a center drive, not a gearbox. But well, okay, yes. You know what I'm saying, same diff. Same diff. Same diff. Anyway. So it's not very much fun. It smells like cat poop and it's really dirty and you're on the ground, usually in the wind. It is a really pleasant day today. So Grant, I hope you have a good day. I hope I have a good day too. We've got the split row planter in the shop, the box planter here in the yard, then also a planter that we have yet to use this year. Well, it's the drill. So this is, do you remember those uh, little monitoring systems Grant, Dad and I built for the drill? This does have cereal rye in it right now, but we're going to vacuum this out and plant some soybeans with it. Here's the monitoring systems that we assembled. So now this drill is a precision planting <laughs> piece of equipment. I realized that the split row planter was in the shop for some time last year, but unfortunately it's back in here because I think there's some tweaks we need to make to this thing. Before we finish planting corn, I've got some soybeans that are trying to poke up and they are but this crust, see here, I, uh, I wanna soften this up and give them an easier place to start poking through. So Dad and I are starting the pivot, start running some water. We did have rye planted here for some erosion um, and that should be dying here soon. So I know it looks like a weed or lots of weeds, but it was actually planted here and I little rose, but it's time for it to die so that my soybeans can come up and grow nice and big. So right now, getting pivots started and making sure they're all functioning actually falls under a higher priority than finishing up our planting since we only have a few acres left. The stuff that we do have planted and it's in the ground, there's kind of like a hard crust forming over it. And so it's really important that we allow the stuff that's already in the ground to have a good chance to come up so we have good stand. So we have one more pivot to fix and get started. Ah, carrying my supplies right now. Um, but I did want to mention the weather. I know I'm in a sweatshirt, I probably don't need to be, is so gorgeous right now. It is beautiful perfect summer weather and it's probably still spring i don't think it's been officially summer yet oh but the sun was up at like 6 15 this morning and i don't know the sun is shining there's no breeze like there's no wind birds are chirping i saw bald eagle this morning it's a really really great day got the seed tender hooked up to the red pickup that seed tender is full of soybeans and we are going to be filling the drill with soybeans here. So there's three different compartments and then these are our little floats which tell us how full each compartment is. I managed to do it pretty even. I've got 950 pounds of soybeans in each compartment. Looking good. So this drill is going to be planting soybeans in our seed corn ground isolation. So the isolation is pretty much just like a border around the field planted to a crop other than corn. 
So it could be soybeans or it could be Milo or something like that. Um, and it's to border the field from any foreign pollination. So the seed corn, we only want the seed corn male rows pollinating the female seed corn. And so uh, we don't want any commercial corn pollinating it. Now that we got our pivot work done for now, don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Dad is in the field cultivator and I am in the A to 345R. That's a bad angle. Here we go. Headed out to the field to finish planting. Dad is in the field cultivator, like I said, and that's like kind of a tillage type tool. Um, and he's going to be lightly going over the end rows before I plant those, just because they're pretty hard packed. And then um, there was some spots where some corn stalks had gotten kind of balled up. So he wanted to rake those apart before I planted through them. Um, and then once he's done with the field cultivator, then I'll do finish up the planting and then he'll hop in the drill and finish planting our isolation. First thing we have to do is use this number one hydraulic to unfold our wings. Oh, maybe, one sec, let's give it a second try. There we go. Just had to think about it for a little bit. We're good. Now in our ag leader here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Mary Jane's. Okay, we're going to, there we go. This is my last event. Perfect, to get that to load in. Now we're going to go here. Yes, that should change that. Confirm. And we want that. All right, so this is what we have. Oh, there we go. So we've done all this, all this green stuff. We just need to fill in this middle part and then do the end rows. Now that my computers are all loaded, all ready to go, I'm gonna use this one right here and lower the planter down because I need seed. Luckily, we got the trailer, black suburban all hooked up, all ready to go. Unfortunately, those seed bags are 65 pounds a piece. Now, usually the bags are, well, not usually. Sometimes they're 50 pounds, sometimes they're 37 pounds. It all just depends on how big the seeds are. So there's different varieties, different hybrids. Um, but no matter what, each bag has, each corn bag has 80,000 seeds in it. These just happen to be really big seeds, so they're super heavy bags. So I'm not really looking forward to loading the planter, but it's what must be done. I should mention, you might be confused on why sometimes we use a seed tender with like uh, either seed already filled in it or with the pro boxes on it. Those are those big black boxes. And why sometimes we use bags of seed. So the seed corn, that's like the special seed that we plant for Pioneer that only comes in bags. Those are very special. Um, but like for this, we've already filled the planter a few times with pro boxes to do the whole big field, but we needed just like a little bit more than a pro box. And so we had to get a pallet of bags of that same hybrid to make up. So instead of, you can't really return seed unless someone else needs it, doesn't really work like that. So you try to buy the exact amount that you need and so we just have a little bit extra of this hybrid in bags to put in, if that makes sense. I suppose the workout is good for me, right? I did also want to mention, so most of this field, like I said, has already been planted and look at it. It's coming up so nicely. All right, so the boxes have the seed that we have left and I'm carrying two bags. That's all the corn we have left, like seeds, so Hopefully we have enough to finish. Now, of course, I could do the math for you guys, but where's, 
Where's the suspense? Where's the fun? I don't want to leave you guys with like a cliffhanger. We've got to keep some interest in here, right? So, let's see how this goes. Also, we use this mixture of talc and graphite. I realize it doesn't look as bad on camera. I'm kind of covered in it to, as, to use as like a seed lubricant um, to help them flow easier through the meters. I'm covered in it, doesn't matter. I turned my vacuum and blower on right here. These two continuous hydraulics, just backing up to make sure that I actually start where I'm supposed to. All right, now I'm going to go forward. My auto steer is engaged. Press the implement down and go low speed start and start my starter. There we go. The starter is the one in that tank. And I just start off nice and slow. Here we go and just get things started here. And we are rolling. I think it's really cool that we're able to be planting and doing tillage in the same field at the same time. It's so fun to work with dad. Okay, I am very surprised right now. Row seven ran out already. We have that much left, that much left. Time to shuffle seed. And row eight just ran out. This much left, time to reshuffle. I was seeing um, some in some of the comments and questions on one of my last planting videos, people were asking, how is it possible with all this technology that some rows were running out before others? That's a great question. Um, we're planting with the greatest accuracy that we can. But see, sometimes dad and I are dividing three or six bags of seed as evenly as we can across 16 rows. And uh, we don't get out there and hand count every seed that we put in. And so some boxes just get more seed than others and vice versa. So we can only do so much, but like I just divided one bag as evenly as I could across 16 rows. And I think I did a pretty good job, but inevitably one row is just gonna run out before the other ones. Now, if you started with a perfectly cleaned out empty planter and put one exact bag in each row unit, you'd have 80,000 seeds per box. And in theory, in a totally perfect world, everything working exactly right, they'd all run out at the same time. However, we are planting right now, I should slow down a little bit, at 99.1 to 99.7% uh, accuracy. One second. Well, I will release you from the suspense. Uh, we do not have enough seed to finish. I just ran out two more rows and I can't shuffle anymore, like without just grabbing a handful, but I know that's not sustainable cannot finish the field so that's all the seed on the farm so I am going to our seed dealers house and I'm gonna pick up a few bags and hopefully that better be enough to finish instead of taking the time to go to the farm unload these pallets and then go to the seed dealers house I'm just going to flip them off the trailer and leave them here um, uh, so I can just be as efficient as possible. That's not supposed to look like that. This is from that huge wind and rainstorm we had. Looks like an end tower got flipped over. Unfortunate. Bag is secured or uh, bags. I got eight bags just to be safe. And hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Okay, you know it's summertime because something is coming up that I'm very excited for, okay? Wait for it. Uh, this Suburban does not have air conditioning, so I'm driving with the windows down. Wait for it. Ah! <laughs> oh, it feels so good. That's a little uh, homemade country AC for you 
there. Have the windows down, have a little pivot spray. Oh man, feels so good. All right, let's see how heavy these bags are. I can lift them with one hand, that's a good sign. 50.65 pounds. You know what? I'll call it a win. Now I just have to fill a plan. All right. Now, now we should be able to finish. So here's something a little interesting. So this field, I'm gonna to try to explain this. This field is like in the middle of where road lines came together. So the field, instead of being a perfect square, is like a trapezoid type thing. It's not even. And so the rows, to be perfectly straight on one side, when they come to the middle, they come together. So right now, I'm planting the intersecting rows. I don't know if that makes sense at all. The field is squished. All right, so what I'm talking about is that this is the middle of the field here. And when I started on this end planting, I was planting like maybe eight rows. Do you see this dark green? And then as I went on, it got smaller and smaller and smaller until down here, I was just planting one row. But now we're back to regular 16. And that's how we'll finish out all the rest of that. And then we're going to put 24 end rows here and 24, maybe 32 end rows over here. All right, everybody, check this out. All the middle is filled in. Now we just gotta get through the end rows. Okay, remember when I said we don't go back there doing like handfuls of corn? There was a point where I was carrying like maybe half of a handful and dumping it in, okay? I did all the end rows on the east side. I'm halfway done with the end rows on the west side. I can't open another bag right now, right? Like, mm. Let me show you guys what we're working with. I just, another row just ran out. Okay, that one, I think I might be able to take some from that one and that one. Okay, all right. I've been keeping them fairly even. I think I can, oh, that one's almost out. Um, that one's almost out. That one's almost out. That one's almost out. That one's almost out. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I am so conflicted right now. So I have to go down to that tree line and then another eight rows. Here's my fear. I'm spending all this time shuffling. Man, I really just do not know what to do here. Upon further consideration, and I feel like your guys' comments are going to say this as well, I have two bags left. I'm just going to put another bag in, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we used the whole bag, frankly. Um, also, this is a Runza cup that I've been using to transfer seed between each hopper box. I got this the first day of planting. The first day of planting. Look at it, it matches the tractor and planter perfectly. It survived this whole planting season. So thanks Runs, I appreciate it. There are no words um, to describe what I'm feeling right now. And you may be thinking joy, because planting is over. No, oh my goodness, I'm so angry at myself. I did something that I have not done for two years. I backed up with the planter down, which is like, the biggest no no I don't even know what I was thinking Ugh, let me show you why this is very frustrating oh my goodness so it's not only frustrating it's super embarrassing look that is packed full of dirt and that is not supposed to be packed full of dirt that's not good so I have two options 
it I might be able to clean it out with a trowel if not I have to take off every single gauge beyond Truby oh my goodness pause I am interrupting your regularly scheduled program uh, hi past Laura this is future Laura you're making a mistake don't continue planting take the time it's going to take you two hours, okay? Just clean it out, all right? You're gonna save yourself problems in the future. You're not gonna know they're problems at that night, but the next day, they will be problems. I'm sorry I couldn't get this message to you sooner. All right, go back to your regularly scheduled program. Somehow, it's planting. I do not, I mean, I, I know how. I cleared out all the seed tubes. It's probably, if I didn't have just literally eight rows of half of a thing left, I would have stopped and cleaned it out. But I'm just too close. I'm too close. So I'm just going, I'm finishing right now. I should, I'm excited, I'm excited. This is the last eight rows, less than a quarter of a pass of commercial corn planting for 2022. We still have some soybean isolation to finish up with that drill or maybe a soybean planter tomorrow. But here we go, you guys. We're, we're finishing out corn planting. I consider myself super lucky because I know that there are people who have not started yet. Um, and I know there's a lot of people suffering from storm damage like the Larsons and Zach Johnson um, and all of them. But here we go. We're finishing it out. Corn 2022. I'm folding up and I'm just thinking about the dirt that's packed in those truvies. So frustrated with myself. I was going to take them all apart and clean them anyways, but it's just frustrating. I haven't made that mistake in years. Goes to show we are all human, I guess. The point is, packing up, headed back to the farm to call it an evening. Thank you so much for following along on today's farming journey. I hope you felt suspense and waves of emotion like I did. I was, uh, this was some day. Um, yeah, thanks for being along for the ride. If you haven't already subscribed to see more videos like this, now's your chance and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.